Today on Golf 360, we take a short trip to Indiana's incredible French Lick Resort. Tour Edge Golf, the local club company, continues to excel. The Illinois PGA stops by for some spot-on instruction. We'll see why DuPage Golf's trio of courses is chock full of enjoyment. And we showcase three men who inspire so many through this great game of golf. Greetings, golf lovers. We are here at Indiana's one-of-a-kind resort, the French Lick Resort. This place is everything for the golfer and the non-golfer in this beautiful, quaint town of French Lick, Indiana. It all begins when you check in to a couple of turn-of-the-century treasures, the French Lick Springs Hotel or the Unreal West Baden Springs Hotel. West Baden has this giant atrium which almost feels like you're in a dome stadium. Inside the building, over 200 feet up, are magnificent lights which change colors throughout the evening. We got 686 historic rooms, I like to say. Um, what happened to us was in 2015, our sales department said, you know, we've got enough rooms, we don't have enough meeting space. So in 2015, we added on the event center here. And we've outgrown that now to where we're sold out most every weekend. And so the latest $20 million investment is 68 more rooms next to the casino, next to the event center, kind of plays in both our casino market and our group market. In addition to that, we're adding on to a sports bar uh, with sports wagering coming about and two more meeting rooms in there. So we kind of think we're hitting the sweet spot with all three. And I like to say that those 68, we have, again, 686 historic rooms. These are going to be 68 new rooms. Here at French Lick, you'll experience some of the best golf in the country where there are 45 holes of exhilarating golf. The Ross course is a shot maker's delight where your short game will be tested. I think the Donald Ross course is uh, typical in his design that there are some force carries, some false front greens, deep face bunkers around the greens. Uh, the best miss here is always short, which is typical of Donald Ross golf courses. Not, not huge length, it, it's 7,000 yards from the very back tees. We have four sets of tees that are, you know, something here for everyone. From a distance, the layout looks easy, but don't be fooled as each hole is perfectly intertwined with the undulating landscape. Designed by the immortal Donald Ross, this track has hosted a number of championships, including the 1924 PGA won by Walter Hagen. This picture inside the clubhouse is a panoramic where the Hague had time to nimbly run to the other side of the picture and be captured two times. <laughs> the top course you can play in the state is the remarkable Pete Dye course set high above in Hoosier National Forest Country. We were with the energetic Pete Dye back in 2009 when the course was just starting to grow in. I've narrowed the fairways more than I've ever had in my life on a golf course. The fairways are about um, 85 feet wide, which is fairly narrow, and it's almost like uh, one they have for a championship. But, but the new type of grass in the rough is called turf-type fescue, and they're trying to keep it cut down so it's easier to play out of the rough than it is out of the fairway. So that makes everything upside down. <laughs> We could almost guarantee that you have never played a track like this that can be stretched out to over 8,100 yards from the back tees. What? Yes, indeed. Majestic rolling hills mixed with extremely high shot value, spectacular conditioning, and views that go some 40 miles out in the country. What an experience. This golf course, the, the Ross course, is pretty compact. It's on about 145 acres. Uh, it's a short walk from the green to the next tee where Pete Dye is spread over 330 acres. And it's, you know, when you pop up on that hill, it's just amazing the views that you have and, and the wide, wide open space. At the end of your round at the Dye course, you are handed a pretty sweet gift pack highlighted by a one-of-a-kind bronze bag tag, a Monte Cristo cigar, and a bottle of Jefferson's bourbon whiskey distilled right in Indiana. Pretty classy. French Lick was the childhood home of basketball legend Larry Bird. You can even walk into a restaurant in town named 33 Brick Street in his honor where you can try on his actual warm-up jersey from the famous Olympic Dream Team. It sounds like this place just has everything. So the Chicago land golfer, non-golfer needs to get down here to visit French Lake. Absolutely, and it's a place to bring the entire family. So it's not just for mom and dad, which some people think. The French Lake Resort has Kids Fest activities. So um, mom and dad can participate in those activities or they can drop the kiddos off and sneak away to the spa or to play golf and have some alone time. So they do have plenty of things to do for the kids too. The golf at the Die and the Ross is truly a treat for any caliber of golfer. 
Colin Montgomery won the Senior PGA Championship at the Die in 2015 and had plenty of high praise for the design. The LPGA legends love it too, as each year they hold their Senior LPGA Championship right here. History and elegance of days gone by can really be felt at French Lick, but the true reality is that you cannot find a destination like this anywhere. It's almost like if you go back into the 20s and 30s when those trains came, and a lot of them came out of Chicago, a lot of visitors out of Chicago, it's word of mouth, it's spreading. You know, it's the hospitality of South Central Indiana. You really have to come down here and visit this iconic resort. It's unbelievable. Plus, they have the Die and the Ross course, which are number one and number two places you can play in the state of Indiana. Come down here and play these things. I've got a chance to play them. They're amazing. All right, up next, we're going to get a tip from one of the Illinois PGA Tour instructors who's going to knock your socks off with what he's going to tell you. And after that, we're going to head down to Batavia, Illinois to see Tour Edge Golf. Your favorite players, the ultimate ticket, the top 70 players in the world, and the BMW Championship visits Madonna Country Club August 13th through 18th, 2019, right in the heat of the PGA Tours FedEx Cup playoffs. Tiger, beautiful. Tiger's tied for the lead. Exclusive ticket packages are now available for Chicago's biggest golf event of the year. Visit BMWChampionship.com today. This season, tee it up at Cantini Golf in Wheaton. Our spectacular 27 holes are complemented by the Cantini Golf Academy and the nine hole course just for kids. At Cantini, you can even hire a caddy. Join the Red Oak Club to earn rewards or check out Cantini's young executive program for golfers 39 and under. Come see what golf was meant to be. Come savor the Cantini experience. Book a tee time today at cantinigolf.com. Time to improve your game with tips from the pros brought to you by the Illinois PGA and Tour Edge. Hi, my name is Ron Skubish. I'm the PGA head golf professional at Pottawatomie Golf Club in St. Charles. Um, today I'd like to talk to you about the backswing and, and the actual, the practice swing and the actual swing. What I'd like you to do is, is tie the two together. It seems as I, I'm looking around at different groups, uh, it just seems like people take a very balanced practice swing, but then when the club gets behind the ball, all of a sudden the hit, uh, kill type uh, mentality takes over, and, the, and then the actual swing really had no semblance to the practice swing. Uh, it seems that people are very uh, comfortable with taking a practice swing to make sure they hadn't passed away since their previous shot, then all of a sudden when, when the actual swing comes, it becomes a, a hit and, and kill mentality. Here's what, and what I'd like you to do is think of two things. When you take your practice swing, listen, and then also pose. And by that, this is what I mean. So when you, you go to take your shot, listen as the club comes on your downswing, listen for the sound of the club brushing the mat, and then, and then after that, pose to see the balance position and the finish position that you achieve. So. Now when you swing, you want to finish with your, all of your weight on your left side, your off your right side, your belt buckle facing the target, and, and you want to listen for that sound. The sound of the club brushing the grass or brushing the mat indicates that your upper and your lower body are working together uh, in tandem. And one of the keys is, is that when you take that practice swing and your body does what you want it to do, then immediately hit the shot because you, there's no additional thought necessary. Your body just did what you wanted it to do, step up and just recapture that same feeling. Give this a try. Uh, our, the goal is you start hitting a lot better shots and uh, enjoy the game a lot more. This year, Scott McCarron is dominating as the leading money earner on the PGA Tour Champions by a wide margin. A big part of success can be traced to his Tour Edge clubs. Based in quaint Batavia, Illinois, this equipment company continues to push the envelope with their exotics line. Maybe you've noticed a little more recognition these days for Tour Edge, the humble golf club company that started operations back in 1986. Their equipment not only looks cool and clean, they also really perform. 
Thanks to their breakthrough technology and their association with a number of PGA Tour Champions players, they are now a major factor in today's game. Yeah, it's over 70 different guys in the last two uh, seasons have put exotics into play on the Champions Tour. So that's led to 10 wins and uh, a really cool stat, which is kind of amazing. We have been first or second in 23 out of the last 38 events. That's 60%. We've either been first or second. So that's uh, pretty close to domination out there. Uh, but yeah, no, the, the guys that I mentioned earlier are all on staff wearing logos. That's the number one ranked Scott McCarron. Yeah, so he's playing the 119 hybrid, and uh, you might be playing that hybrid too. I'm playing it. It is the best hybrid I've ever hit, and Scott's swearing by this, saying it's the best hybrid he's ever played too. So that's that's what we've got going right now with Scott, and uh, yeah, he's number one on the Champions Tour, and he just hit the winning shot with that club in Japan, so kudos to him. Well, I've had the, a couple of their clubs in the bag for you know at least a year now, maybe a year and a half. Um, I really like everyone involved with the company. I like their their rescue clubs especially. They have a, even some some newer ones, some better ones that just came out this year. The visionary of Tour Edge is the founder and president, David Glaude. His CBX hybrid design is one of golf's top hybrids that you will find and comes packed with game improvement innovation. So uh, exotic CBX is the coolest technology we've ever had. So we're combining a titanium face, a steel body, and a carbon so, sort of core, or if you will, a uh, sole plate. And the cool thing about that is we can take all the weight away from the face and away from the sole and put it exactly where we want, a little bit higher and closer to the face hmm. so that your, your um, spin is reduced quite a bit. When you reduce that spin, it's what can, is gonna give you distance gains. That's why we're considered the longest fairy wizard hybrids in the business right now. And it's why the pros are loving it. People love titanium, and these are the only fairy woods and hybrids that are available with a titanium face. Tour Edge has some exciting new cost-effective clubs getting ready to hit the market. The HL4 line includes a driver, hybrids, fairway woods, and irons, all coming out August 1st. The driver goes for just $200 and rivals many clubs that are in the $500 range. All of their equipment comes with an unprecedented lifetime warranty. And what's also nice is that all their clubs are built right here in the good old U.S. of A. We're a Midwest company. We're a very relational company. We take good care of our customers who take good care of their consumers and everything like that. So we kind of get down to what, what grew us. Products, very innovative, great service, you know, a smile. You know, I really enjoy uh, everyone involved with the company. They're good people. And, uh, and their products are, are exceptional, I think. Um, and if they can help make you better, you know, I, then you, know, you have, to, have to use it. So it's a, a kind of a natural progression. We're just gonna get, keep pushing the envelope with innovation and, uh, and really, um, you know, what our, our company motto is golf's most solid investment. That's really what we live by. We wanna give you the best bang for your buck in golf. When it comes to performance, you're gonna be getting the same as something that costs twice as much you, in most cases with our clubs. And uh, so your wallet's going to be happy, you're going to be happy on the golf course, and you're going to be playing better golf. Hats off to Tour Edge exotic staffer Phyllis Meddy for recently winning a long drive contest with an exotics driver, which she blasted 413 yards. Just incredible. All right, next on the tee, we'll check out a trio of beautiful Illinois courses that will satisfy any player. So stick around. Can I try that new injected twist face driver that DJ's hitting? A tailor made M6. Just give me a second to prep the bay and we'll get you custom fit. DJ's M6? You know my M5 is injected too, right? It's spicy fast. All right, your bay's ready to go. I also want to try the spicy M5. PGA Tour Superstore has the hottest products from the best brands. In store or online at PGATourSuperstore.com.
We are truly blessed with hundreds of golf courses all over the Chicagoland area. DuPage Golf has three very well-rounded layouts. The nine-hole Green Meadows in Westmont, the fun 18-hole track in Maple Meadows, and the award-winning facility, the Preserve at Oak Meadows in Addison, which is tremendous. This place is a vast uh, landscape of golf. What all can the golfer get here? I know it's been two years now. It's finally uh, maturing more into what was uh, maybe the designer or the, uh, the revitalization wanted to see. Yeah, the architect Greg Martin did a great job on this property. It's 288 acres just wrapped throughout a, a gorgeous forest preserve. And we're really starting to see the maturity of this course come through. You know, during the first two years open, we enjoyed getting lots of recognition from, from Golf Digest, a renovation of the year from Golf Inc. And for the second straight year, we're now in the uh, best courses you can play list from Golf Week magazine. But we think we're really just starting to show the public what this place is all about. Uh, we're hearing from the golfers here that conditions keep improving, and it's now just a mature golf course that's going to be at the, at the top of that list of best you can play in Illinois for a long time. And there were two reasons why you kind of redid this. I know the one word is water. <laughs> can talk about why uh, this helps out the county and the community and how it's dealt with all this rain we have seen here in the Chicagoland area. Yeah, anywhere you are in the golf industry, water is uh, truly at the middle of the story. And it is here. We've got a creek right down the center of the property. And uh, before we do anything else on this land, uh, we know that part of our role in the community is to hold storm water. In fact, 190 gallons of storm water when we get the big events like we had this spring. But the architect and engineers did a great job. We now see the water going where it's supposed to go, into the river corridors, into the wetlands, and not on the tees, greens, and fairways. So uh, we get to offer a really fun golf experience, and at the same time, maybe save some residents from flooding in their backyard, basements, or businesses. All right, let's talk more about here at the preserve. You said you grew up playing here, and this has gone over, uh, you know, has, has gone over a renovation. What has the, been the biggest difference for you that you've seen? For me, it's definitely the uh, the addressing of the flood issue. For one, you know, earlier this year we had a lot of lot of rain. Years ago, that would have shut down Oak for a week, two weeks, who knows? Now we we were open. You know, even with all that rain, people are out. Of course, is in fantastic shape. You know five, six inches of rain over a couple days and playing surface wasn't touched. And it's also, it's good to be out and see the different layout and see the shell of the old course and have the memories come back. Definitely a ball placement golf course. You don't need driver. Granted, it's 7,000 from all the way back, but there's, uh, there's an emphasis on being in play as opposed to being long. Uh, greens can get really, really quick. So make sure that uh, the short game is up Green Meadows, the nine hole course. If people need to get out and get about an hour and a half, two hour round in, that's a perfect place for them to go play, isn't it? Yeah, Green Meadows is so much fun. It's in great shape. Uh, it plays just under 2,000 yards. So there's a bit of a, a perception that maybe it's a course for beginners. And it is, it's a great course for beginners. Uh, but also we find a lot of better players head out to Green Meadows when uh, maybe they have time to go to the range or looking for that quicker round. And it's a chance to get every club out of the bag. There's three par fours, six par threes. so. Any part of your game that you want to enjoy, Green Meadows is, is, is a really good spot to fit it in. All right, Maple Meadows is right across the street over here on my shoulder. Tell me about that place and what the golfer can experience there. Yeah, Maple Meadows was built on the side of the old Brookwood Country Club, and it was redone 20 years ago, and has really blossomed into a, a course that is uh, versatile. Uh, when we set it up for tournament play, like the Illinois Open qualifiers, it can challenge some of the best uh, golfers in the state. And yet it's a really comfortable place for some of the outings and leagues and, and just local players to go play and uh, have some fun, uh, take as much challenge as you want, but also find, find some space to hit it and uh, maybe shoot a low score. What's nice is all of DuPage's golf courses are vastly different from one another and have plenty to enjoy for every type of player. All right, coming up next, we're going to show you the inspirational side of our amazing sport that is golf. So stay tuned. The ultimate test. The top 70 players in the world. A legendary course as the BMW Championship and the PGA Tours FedEx Cup playoffs come to Medina Country Club. August 13th through the 18th, 2019. Drips over the front edge. McElroy suddenly within three. New dates, new course. Exclusive ticket packages are now available to get up close for every shot at Chicago's biggest golf event of the year.
Visit BMWChampionship.com today. Play legendary golf at French Lick Resort, the only place in the country where you can play courses by two Hall of Fame designers on the same property. Our Pete Dye and Donald Ross courses offer two very different challenges. Experience them both and save with our Hall of Fame package. Our two historic hotels are unique as well. Cap it off with a fun visit to the French Lick Casino. Check us out online at FrenchLick.com. Bring a group and save even more. Play legendary golf this season at French Lick Resort. Time to improve your game with tips from the pros brought to you by the Illinois PGA and Tour Edge. Hi, my name is Kelsey Staley and I'm a PGA professional and I'm an assistant golf professional at Royal Fox Country Club located in St. Charles, Illinois. Today I'm at Tour Edge headquarters and I'm going to give you a couple tips on chipping. So when we're talking about the setup with chipping, we want our feet to be close together. We want the ball to be more towards the back of your stance your weight's on your left side, and then the butt of your club is pointing towards your left pocket, just like this. And once you have the setup, you gotta think about the club selection. So you can use several different clubs for this. You can use sand wedge, A wedge, pitching wedge. You can use your irons, like the seven, eight, and nine iron. And the way you choose which club you wanna use is based on how far you are away from the hole. So if you're close to the hole, you're gonna use those higher lofted clubs like the sand wedge or the pitching wedge. If you're further away, you're gonna use those irons like the seven, eight, and nine iron. So let's take a look here. So we're set up, weights on the left, back and through. And I hope these chipping tips helped you and if you need additional help or tips, you can contact your local Illinois PGA professional. That's another solid tip there from our friends at the Illinois PGA. All right, we all have setbacks in our life, but it's how you rebound and recover to get on with your life that really matters. Dave Lockhart has a story on a couple of men that are inspiring people through the game of golf. Last month, the Chicago District Golf Association celebrated their 75th anniversary at Golf House in Lamont with the impressive Dennis Walters Trick Shot Show. Once an aspiring tour pro, he had a golf cart accident that paralyzed him from the waist down some 40 years ago. I think my most important thing to me is if you're sitting in a wheelchair, one of the last things you'd think you'd be able to do is to hit a golf ball. I've seen it for 40 years like that. I can't do that. I, but if they see somebody else do it, then they think, hmm, maybe I could do it. Through Dennis's incredible determination and the smiles that he has put on so many faces, it led him to being inducted this year into the World Golf Hall of Fame. I got a phone call from Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player, and they said, congratulations, Dennis. We're calling to let you know you've just been elected to the World Golf Hall of Fame, and we were your advocates. And uh, the wonderful experience, magical, magical experience for me. The preserve at Oak Meadows in Addison is really one of the special public courses in Chicagoland, and their new head pro, Jamie Nieto, just enhances the place even more. He had tragedy strike his life as well and was able to overcome it. Uh, November 2003, I was involved in an outdoor fire where 65% uh, of my body was covered in third degree burns. Um, since then, the, the goal has been to get back to golf and to get back to, to helping people. And I've been able to use golf as my motivation to, to recover from the injury. And uh, through uh, the help of uh, my mentor, through all this uh, gentleman by the name of Tony Gonzalez, uh, we built the Burn Awareness Golf Outing. Started that uh, 14 years ago. And that outing helps send burn survivors to the uh, World Burn Congress. Despite his condition, Jamie can really play some solid golf as well, carding a 68 last year at the Preserve. It is so great to see Jamie overcome his accident and be an example to so many. Golf just afforded me that opportunity to, to give back to the burn community. A family of burn survivors that you know, gives back anything we can, and it's, it's been really inspiring to be a part of it. In some ways, Pete Crozier is a bit of a madman trying to play 50 courses in 50 states in 50 days in order to raise $50,000 for JDRF. Recently, the former producer for WXRT's morning radio show with Lynn Bramer chose Chicago's Harborside International to tee it up for his worthy cause. 
He talked about this plan he had to raise money, I don't know, like 15 years ago, talking about it in a bar. I'm like, yeah, you're going to play 50 courses in 50 days. Got it. It's never going to happen. And this summer, the summer of his 50th birthday, he made a plan. He made a website. He's walking, he's taking every step. Uh, he's a pretty good golfer, so he's probably having a good time. And uh, for the Illinois and Michigan swing, I said, Pete, I got to come out and join you. This is epic. When Pete's not flying to destinations, he's getting around the country in this van that has pictures and notes of inspiration from family and friends. Plus, he carries his dad, who was a veteran, along with him on this journey that's so much more than just playing golf. Right, if you find your thing, if you find your purpose, right, that it becomes about purpose, not paycheck, and mission, not money. And it's really, it feels great. So if you're out there listening or watching, find your thing, right, you get to be out there and speak your truth. and. If you speak your truth, then you eat, drink, think, write, and speak with passion, and, and you get a seat at the table. People want to listen, and people want to help, and people believe. Um, I have talked to thousands of people, thousands, about this, and every single person, when I finish, says, all right, who do I know? What do you need? How can I help? Uh, I'm a big believer the world changes one person at a time, one action at a time. And that's what this feels like. Everybody gives just a little bit, and that's how you move the meter. Now, that is a serious commitment to play that much golf all over America. All right, please go to 54father.com slash donate if you want to make a contribution through Preet Crozier's website to help fight JDRF. We appreciate you watching this very special edition of Golf 360 from the French Lick Resort in nearby French Lick, Indiana. This destination is an absolute must for any golfer. It needs to be on your bucket list. Remember, you always have a friend in Indiana. Now let's go play some golf. for Golf 360 TV provided by PGA Tour Apparel and the Golden Bear Jack Nicklaus. Creating a revolutionary product starts by asking, what if? What if we loaded every inch with game-changing innovation? What if we had a flight tuning system to control ball flight, roll face and cup face technologies for explosive power, slipstream sole technology for more speed, and dual carbon tech with eight adjustable loft settings? And what if all this technology and performance costs significantly less than the competition? Exotics EXS by Tour Edge. Pound for pound, nothing else comes close. This season, tee it up at Cantini Golf in Wheaton. Our spectacular 27 holes are complemented by the Cantini Golf Academy and the nine-hole course just for kids. At Cantini, you can even hire a caddy. Join the Red Oak Club to earn rewards or check out Cantini's young executive program for golfers 39 and under. Come see what golf was meant to be. Come savor the Cantini experience. Book a tee time today at cantinigolf.com.